Hey everybody, uh, Poker Dad here. Um, so uh, before my session, I'm going to be playing a session this afternoon, um, which uh, you know I've actually decided to drop down to NL2 um, just to uh, you know because I'm I'm not getting the results that I'm looking for at NL10, and I really haven't actually gone to NL2 and beaten NL2. So I've decided that I'm going to go down back down to NL2 and just try and grow my bankroll organically as opposed to just saying okay I, well I just happen to have this much money to play poker let me play NL uh, NL10 because I just have this much money so I'm going back down to NL2 and let me focus on beating NL2 I'm going to play four tables um, in a little bit but first I wanted to do a warm-up and today's warm-up I wanted to do was uh, through uh, Poker Snowy by playing 100 hands versus Poker Snowy and just uh, seeing how I do so I figured I'd make a video of me uh, playing Poker Snowy here. Now Poker Snowy is robotic, so um, you know there's no reads or anything like that. It's more just kind of GTO in a way. Um, I do play more exploitative, but you know still it's just a good warm up just to get my head uh, thinking um, in the right way and just getting in the right you know mindset and A level type mindset. So I'm gonna set this for 100 BB, and I'll do the uh, lowest stakes here available which is uh not that it really matters is uh 50 cents one dollar not that it really matters but and fast fold of course i, I like to keep real-time evaluations off i just want to go with uh how i uh feel i should be playing a hand and i'm going to play 100 hands but it'll be pretty quick because it's fast fold so first up here i get ace 10 and um, on the uh, preflop raises, I'm going to fold it up here. Now, pre uh, Snowy preflop raises uh, two big blinds, uh, not three big blinds, but I'm going to do what I would normally do in my games. So when I preflop raise, I'll preflop raise uh, 3x. So here I can fold this. And my focus in the games now is going to be more so. I'm not worried about the money aspect of it. Uh, I'm going to be gauging my success when I play based on my win rate. And I think that's kind of important for me to do is really focus more on win rate than the actual dollars and cents themselves and making sure that I'm just making good decisions throughout. Um, this here, um, I could definitely raise this up here versus, uh, versus the big blind. Um, so I think I will actually... Actually, no, this is suited 5-4. I'll, I'll fold it. Yeah, that's only something I would really do is if I have if I had a read on my opponent. 6-7 um, offsuit from the button. Uh, I will definitely fold it. And the uh, queen-6 here I can fold from the cutoff. And 4-3 from middle position I could fold. And 7-4 from under the gun I would definitely fold. Now I'm at the big blind, and when it gets raised to me from the small blind, 3x, you know, I could definitely fold this. And jack 6, of course, I'll definitely fold. And 10-3 from the button. Now, one thing I'm definitely going to be trying, I'm going to definitely try and do this next session also is, is uh, call a little bit wider from the button, uh, depending on who exactly is raising the bet. If I have a recreational player raising the bet, because um, I do want to play more uh, in position for the, from the button. So here I'm going to make it uh, three dollars. I wish they had a, a three X button, but they don't, uh, since that would be the three times raised with the jacks. And everybody folds. And jack seven from under the gun, I'll fold it. And ace two here from the big blind, uh, out of position, I'm definitely going to fold it here. And this nine two, uh, definitely easy fold. And my, my goal is just not to be results oriented and just, you know, see if I'm playing my best possible game. Uh, king nine here from the cutoff, um, I could definitely raise this one up here. And I get folds all around. Uh, maybe I should really just be raising a two, just because, um, because I think Snowy folds too much to three dollar bets. So just for the sake of poker, Snowy here, I'm gonna make my raises two dollars. Since Snowy does definitely fold way too much to three dollar bets. Uh, so this here I can fold it. And small blind, definitely I'll be folding the 10 to 2. And king 3 here I can fold. And queen 4 is an easy fold. 
9.3. And ace 10 from under the gun off suit. Oh, this is suited, I'm sorry. Uh, so I'll raise this one up. And I do get one call here. Um, so this right here, I definitely think I could put in a C bet for the king 5 and 7. So I'll put in a little bit over a half pot C bet. I think 350. 350-ish is good. This is fine. And we get the fold. And here I get ace queen. Um, there is a raise here. Um, but with ace queen, I'm fine with, with calling the raise. And we do get to play heads up. Now, because I, I didn't hit the board here, and he was the one who did a uh, three bet, I'm just going to check it to him. And he checks back. Um, still, really, the board is just not hitting hitting me well. I mean, yeah, sure, now I do have uh, a gut shot. Um, but there also is a uh, flush draw here in the board as well. So I'm going to check again. And now he bets me here. Uh, it's four dollars with a seventeen dollar and fifty cent pot. Um, not a huge bet, uh, but I'm not going to chase. You know, one thing I'm going to try and not do now is chase these straight draws. You know, I only have four outs, which I need a, a ten to get a, you know, to get a straight. So I'm actually going to fold this here, even though I bet you Snowy would tell me probably to chase this here, and I'm curious to see what Snowy says later on. But um, you know, I just keep on getting burnt by chasing these straight draws. I'd rather be chasing flush draws where I have more outs. So I'm going to fold this up here. Uh, it's 7 2 from the small blind. I will definitely fold. And Jack 7, of course, I can fold from the button. And here I get Ace Jack. Um, I'm going to be in position to this particular player, so I'm actually going to call this bet. And we're through a pot, and I didn't hit it, so I just can check this here. And again, we could just continue with the check since I don't have anything on the board. You know, I do have enough flush draw, so let's see if I get another club here. It'd be nice. No club, and so at this point, uh, we didn't hit anything, so I just check it and see what happens. And yeah, he had a he had pocket sevens. Uh, here I have eights, so I could definitely just bump this one up here. And we'll just take that. And six is here. I'm going to bump this one up as well. And we'll take that down. And queen two I can fold. And king eight from the small blind is definitely a fold as well. And six two from the button is a fold. And nine eight offsuit is a fold. And jack nine is a fold. And queen king from the under the gun. Um, definitely I will raise this one up here. Alright, and I do get top pair. He bets one dollar into me, which really isn't much of anything. So um, I'm actually going to bet half pot now. I'll, I'll raise it versus him. And he folds it up. Since he bet min... Since he min bet it, I think that was just an easy raise for me here. Uh, here, when he checks to me here, I'm actually going to raise it up $3. You know, when he I'm basically just limps into me. And now he raises it, so I'm going to be in position, so I think this is just an easy call. And I do have a, uh, a straight do straight draw and a back door flush draw. Um, he checks it here to me. Um, I don't have a pair, though, so I'm actually just going to check back. And now we get a 9, so again, we, we still have a flush draw. I think, again, I'm just going to check back here since I don't really have anything. Um, and, you know, obviously I have no reads on the computerized player. And now I get the flush, so I think this is just an easy pot bet, and I would not be surprised to uh, to see him fold. And hopefully he just doesn't have an ace of spades. And he does not, so we'll take it down. And this here I could easily fold. And the king seven from the button. This here I'm actually going to raise it up. And when I get three bet there, this is an easy fold for me. And ace four, I will definitely be folding in this spot. 
and 2 9 I'll fold that and Queen 5 we can fold that after this then we'll just take a look real quick and see what kind of score that snowy gives me <clears throat> that's pretty much how I can gauge you know how you know how I did plus EV minus EV or whatever the case may be this is the fold which is really what I'm more concerned about this number up here of how I'm doing for the money wise isn't as important as how is my decision making uh, 6 4 suited from the button I'm actually gonna fold this and 10 2 I can fold and ace 8 from under the gun I'm actually gonna fold this here and I'm not from under the gun from middle position and ace 9 off suit fold that and king 6 here I'll definitely be folding as well and 6 9 from the small blind is an easy fold I'm at 54 hands now king 4 is a fold and queen 4 as well and jack 5 middle positions a fold and 3 2 of course from under the guns a fold Uh, Queen Jack, you know, he's he puts in a 3.5 a 3.5 bet, three dollars fifty cent bet. Uh, I'll be playing out of position, so I'm going to fold this. Uh, here, I get Queen ja I get Queen Jack here from the small blind. This actually is a spot that I could definitely three bet here. Um, I think it really is better for me to three bet and just get some initiative here. So uh, if I do a, I do a six, I'll do a six dollar bet. I'm uh, only going to raise it 3x. And I take it down. I could have raised it 5x, but, you know, it's not like the best hand, so that's why I decided to just raise it up 3x. Uh, Jack 8 here from the button. Um, I can actually raise this up here. Jack 8 lawsuit. And I'll take it down. And King 5 offsuit. I can fold that. And definitely going to raise up the eights. And I get three bet from the button here. Um, pretty strong three bet. Um, be playing this out of position, but I mean, really, what I'm looking for is to get eights here. Uh, but still, I just prefer not to uh, not to call that kind of kind of raise um, with with just eights. Just trying to set mine. If I don't get my eight, then you know I've wasted a lot more money that I really need to. So I'd rather just lose the two dollars and potentially more. You know, and hoping to get one of two more aces that are left in the deck. Uh, queen 10 here onto the gun. I can fold that. And 5-2. I can easily fold this. And queen 2 we can fold. And queen 5 offsuit from the button. We're definitely going to fold. And king jack I will raise this up from the cutoff. And we do get to play, so I'm going to see bet this here. Uh, pretty, pretty dry board. I'll make it uh, three dollars and thirty-three cents. I know a random number, and we get to fold. And here, this I can easily fold this, and then two nine I can fold. Big blind queen six is going to definitely be a fold, unless of course that happens, which is okay. And a small blind here, jack 7, I'm going to fold that up. I don't know if I have any fold equity. And this here I can fold. And here we get ace-king, so we'll raise this one up. And of course we get 3-bet, we're in position. Um, because I'm in position here, I'm actually just going to flat call this bet. Uh, if I was out of position, I, you know, then and he did that, then I might actually 4-bet him here. But because I'm in position, I'm just going to flat call it possibly keep around maybe, you know, jacks or, you know, tens or something like that, you know, even. Uh, so I hit top pair, and he bets uh, 1350 into 1350. Now, of course, it's very likely. I mean, he could definitely have a pair of jacks, and he could definitely have, uh, you know, he could have a set of jacks, and he could have a set of aces. Uh, but, you know, obviously with me getting top pair, top kicker here, um, you know, he could also have kings, and he could also have queens as well. So I definitely don't think there's anything wrong with me calling this bet. And now he checks to me, which is quite interesting. Um, makes me feel like I'm probably ahead in this hand. Um, 
but I'm going to actually going to uh, to check behind here, um, and we'll see what happens. Because if I if I bet here, you know, I'm risking him then raising it possibly, um, and then putting me in a tough spot. I mean, right now I still only have a pair of aces, um, and you know, I mean, I don't think he would have bet. Um, my guess is he probably has kings or queens. Is I think what he probably has. Um, I'm not worried about uh, a flush here. So um, even though he could definitely, you know, he could definitely have like an ace king of diamonds is quite possible. Um, but I think best bet is just here is a check because I don't think a bet's going to get him to fold. And I'm not really sure I'm even betting for value at that point. Uh, you know, considering I could definitely be be behind even right now. So let's just check it. And a king comes out. So we, right now, at this point, I really see absolutely. Uh, he could he could definitely again have kings, but I think now with this check, it's almost like he's indicating he has queens. And now I have two pair. Um, I don't think it's a terrible spot to bet here. Um, but question is, what is he going to call me with? Is he going to call me with worse than two pair? Um, could he call me with queens? I really feel like this is just a spot to, to check it here because I don't see a scenario where he's calling me with worse. So let me just check it. And he ends up having fives, so I don't think he would have called me with fives. So I think that was the right call to just check it there. Uh, here, I'm going to fold this. And queen three, I can fold that. And of course, we'll just check the queen three here. And we don't flop anything, so I could just really. We do have a, you know, we do have a straight draw with, uh, if we get a five. But obviously, we just check it here. And again, just really nothing happening. Easy to check behind. We don't get a straight or anything. He bets at two dollars. It's an easy fold. Move on. And here we get Ace Jack suited from this small blind. This is a good spot for me to three bet. Um, I'm actually going to bump it up to eight dollars here, considering we have two guys in here. See if we could just isolate one of them. And unfortunately, we do get a three-way pot, which is of course not what I wanted. And there's a flush draw out there too, so uh, this really didn't work out so well. So we're just going to obviously have to check out of position. And obviously, we'll just fold it. Right, and here you got jack four. We can fold that. And ace four uh, from the cutoff, I'm going to fold. And here we get seven. Sevens, I'll raise it up. And we get two people in here. Um, so this is an interesting spot where... Um, uh, this is an interesting spot here where I guess... I guess I should probably just check behind. I don't see what advantage I'm going to have in betting here. I don't expect both of these guys to fold. Hang, hang, hang on one second. I am back. I got a delivery of some veggies and stuff, a veggie platter. So. <laughs> um, anyway, so I don't really see any advantage here in, in betting in this spot here. So let me just check behind. And now a two comes out. Again, really no reason to check. I could very well be ahead in this hand. Um... But um, do I think I'm going to be able to get both of them to fold with a bet? Um, will I be able to get one of them to fold with a bet is the question. I think maybe now at this time, you know, both of these two guys don't really seem too interested to play this hand. So, you know, maybe now if I just put out a pot size bet, I might be able to get both of them to fold. Let's see. Uh, and they do. Okay. So there you go. I think that was the point, right? They just didn't feel like playing a hand. At least in that spot, I'm in position, so I can take the initiative there. Uh, A6 here from under the gun is going to be a fold. And of course this A6 I can fold. And King Jack offsuit from small blind to the raises and the 3 bet, easy fold there. And 10-3 we can fold. And 3-3 three, three here, uh, definitely going to raise this up. And to the 3 bet I'm going to fold it. Not going to chase, uh, you know, really, really bad set um, just to, you know, no, nah, it's not a good idea. All right. Now 13 more hands, and then we'll see how we did. Obviously, 100, 100 hands, small sample size, but 
This is just a warm up. And this 8 9, of course, I can fold that. And this here, of course, I will definitely raise from the button. And jack eight there. Uh, jack eight. You know, I, I could I could really raise it, but I'm just gonna hold off and. Oh, I, oh, there's a. I'm sorry. There's already a raise here anyway. So fold it. And ace two here. I can easily fold. Nine two is a fold, of course. And this ace two uh, to the raise here. I'm definitely gonna fold because I mean, what, what am I really gonna do with ace two? Uh, King Queen, of course. I can raise this one up here from the small blind. I get four bet. Um, it's such a small four bet um, that I think I could definitely call this here. And so I have a uh, a gut shot. Um, we'll check it, and you know, if he bets, I can just easily fold out of this hand. He doesn't, and you know, we'll just keep on going here since I am out of position. And you know, this is just a check check situation and you know, he'll take it with the ace queen. So that was a you know at least it was a good hand to three bet. Uh second fold. And queen three I can fold. Jack three I can fold. And king seven I can fold. Uh so let's just play one more one more orbit until we, until the next big blind. I'll fold this. And you can fold the 8 6. And 6 9 can be folded. And of course, 9 7 suited can be folded to the raise. And 2 3 can be folded. And so this will be our last hand, 10 7, and we'll fold it. And now let's go see. Um, let's go see the results, see how we did. So we'll quit. And we'll go to import. We just gotta wait for this to. Uh, to do its thing. Uh, I'll pause the video and I'll come back with the result. Alright, so we're back and here we are. We're going to check out the results. I felt pretty good about it, so I think I'm going to get a good grade. Let's see. Ooh, it didn't It didn't think I did pretty good. It gave me just an intermediate level. Uh, let's see. Let's see what... Um, it says I have one big blunder here. Let's see what my blunder is. Um, it wanted me to chase that straight. If I remember correctly here. Right, I think this was the spot that was the... Uh... I checked. I checked here. It wanted me to bet. Hmm. I don't really agree with that. So, I don't care what you say, Snowy. I felt good about the session. I think I played pretty well during the session. So, Anyway, um... All right, now I'm going to do some fourth table and I'll to try and focus my best. That's really going to be my goal, which is really focusing and making the best possible decisions uh, as I go. And just, you know, have a good BB per 100. And the money, not as important as it is the win rate, which is really what my focus is. So anyway, thank you for watching this uh, little poker snowy session. And until uh, next time. And do me a favor, if you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, check out my videos. I'm posting them almost daily, so I would definitely love for you uh, to check them out. Thank you so much. Poker Dad, signing out.